Welcome back to YKTR. You right? <laughs> Around the water cooler. Brought to you in the Body Science Content Studios. I got me mate, Chico. How you going? How you going? And thanks for having me. My colleague, Jordan Simi. What's up, my slime? <laughs> Around the water What's cooler, such a such a hit last week that we decided to bring it back. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. Uh, be sure Thursday mm. six pm, Lukey, October twenty first. Supply and demand. Show the boys. <laughs> Have a look. Turn around. Check it out. There you Have go. <laughs> Obviously, this is a bit too small. He's rocking Jordan, that medium. Pumping the weights. Been training, bro. This is XL. Lap. And we're running a couple That's of the striped tees too. Been a minute since we ran the stripes. Oh, the collars on them. Got the thick collars. Back. Ready yes. to go, boys. Yeah, the old turtleneck uh, short <laughs> sleeves, my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, ripping straight out into the topics, boys. We're going to start on a bit of a somber note. I'm yeah. sorry to bring the energy back down, but um, condolences first before we start anything to Sean Wainui's family, obviously his wife um, and young family. Devastating news to see that oh, at 25 man. years old, despite being a, a gun footy player, I'll just speak to – I didn't know Sean personally, only professionally. I met him a couple of times, but – Nicest kind of the world, yeah. yeah. And I think when something like this happens, you get a sense of the person based off like the real, other yeah, people. Response. What happens, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Holy Jesus, you yeah, just fuck seen non-stop tributes flowing. So yeah, it's sad, crazy. Bro. Like, you see all the boys back home and like, like all the All Blacks boys and stuff like posting and yeah, just even the videos and when you can read people, like, just just yeah. the interaction with people. And I'm I'm pretty sure he did a lot um, for like. You know the like the Maori community, Maori community and, heaps, yeah. um, he was really like he was proud. You know, he's proud Maori boy. He was one of the not the first, but um, he started to do a lot of his post match press conferences in Maori. Like he'd speak. In oh, today. really? Speaking today, that's mad. Yeah, and then man, he that's would, so cool. You know how yeah. you see Artie doing Samoan and stuff now. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was kind of a, a bit of a pioneer in that space, but n- not not that that's super important. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Mm. Honestly, yeah, it's fu- it's 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 actually sad, man. And like twenty five, just even over here, over here, like the rich shit. Yeah. Over in the footy community, and check, check you probably see it from a diff, not a different perspective, but footy, whether it's union or league, like when something like this happens, it kind of affects the whole. Yeah, definitely community. does. Um, and you see how how close, not a close obble, in in a way how even though if you don't play the same sport or whatever, it's yeah. it's it's still that brotherhood. Professional you're sport, professional yeah. sport. You're still sort of in the same sort of um, environment. And um, a lot of, I've seen a lot, of, a lot of my people that I follow that are footy players yeah. um, being of Māori background or not Māori background, a lot of them, a lot of them were, um, you know, sad. obviously sad. And You guys always, you know, even if you don't know the person, you know someone who knows. Exactly, you know yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is a small world in um, the footy world, but also like um, the response from, you know, from people, especially from in Australia, yeah, um, just to speak volumes of what type of person he is. Yeah, um, I we don't know if personally ask, but um, obviously, watched a lot of yeah, watched a lot of his highlights and stuff. Like that. He's oh, free women. player, yeah, yeah, free yeah. player. Bro, I remember, I think he's got the tribe like he had the five, tribe. five, so five tries. Yeah. Yeah. Five times, yeah, he um, bro, at schoolboy level, Sean was like another fucking. It was like when they were sort mm. of coming through, and I was watching schoolboy footy. It was like. Conrad Harrell was like on another yeah, level, and yeah. so was Sean Wainui. Like he was wow. a, a whip. So obviously, condolences to her, his family. Heartbreaking to see that his last post was him and his wife at karaoke. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. fuck. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you can't so watch that shit. So sad, bro. just I um feel for her, man. But I know that like the New Zealand, like rug- New Zealand and the rugby community will make sure. You know, that yeah, she'll be yeah. Right there. She's gonna be sweet. So. Just Life's sad. too short, man. Yeah, honestly, honestly it's, it's it crazy when things like that. And it sometimes sucks, like you know, when the t- these t- type of incidents happen and makes us realise, like you know, to take a toll out from our day or yeah. whatever, and just to 100%, you know, bro, we don't, we don't say it enough. So to we don't say it enough, but um, Jordy, I love you. Jordy, you know what I mean. I love, I love you all. So Jordy, I love you guys, man. Jordy said it yesterday as well. I don't know whether it's just because New Zealand's so small, but fuck, we have some car accidents, man. Oh yeah, yeah. that's how. Like, that's how my fuck? brother passed away. Exactly, like, yeah. it's fucking crazy. Like, there's yeah. always car accidents here, man. I don't know. That's yeah, weird. Anyway, um, look, we'll, we'll leave that Sean Wino stuff there. Obviously, um, you'll see a, t- a million touching tributes will flow over mm. the next few weeks. So that's just our little um, condolences sad, to, yeah. to his wife and kids. Condolences. And, yeah, hopefully they'll be sweet. Right. All right, shifting gears, boys, um, which is going to be hard after that. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, I was like, <laughs> sorry, I know. <laughs> um, we have. I wanted to throw a few things at you boys. Uh, there's something blowing up on TikTok at the moment. It's called the Untold Stories or Untold Secrets of the Macca's Drive Through. Yeah, oh. right. I know you love a little little bit of Macca's. Mm. Hey, Mudders. <laughs> oh, I'm not the one here that's uh, the Macca's lover. Yeah. I haven't, honestly, haven't had Macca's. Oh, my God. Oh. Shush. You love a few little apple What, pies what happened last week when we were moving houses and what'd you eat? Well, we didn't. We had KFC. <laughs> 
But then didn't you, didn't you have, oh, I'm going to get a Sunday. Lil hmm? McFlurry? Oh, I had a Lil McFlurry. <laughs> Like, so that's what Mac is? That's what Mac is? Oh, okay, well, what else did you eat? Why are you lie? Why do you <laughs> lie like that? You oh, know I, what you have. I'm not, like, I'm not in the back of my head. I'm like, oh, that's right. Two weeks ago, I had a McFlurry. <laughs> like, I'm not, I don't remember all because, these Because, you know that's why? It. Because it's a regular event for you. It's always occurring. You just forget to take out, you forget okay. these little, okay. you know, little incidents okay. you do. May I continue? Yeah, sorry. The Mac Jeez, is thing. So, sorry. All right. Three, Rich coming from three. someone who eats a whole family pack of fucking <laughs> wicked wings. <laughs> Well, I love, I love him with chicken stuff. Let me be. I was hung over. He does love him with chicken stuff. Um, 20 wicked three, wings. Three untold. This is a nightmare to try and imagine. And I eat the cartilage too. <laughs> <laughs> and in the bone. Did I make a, a bone crunchy. broth out of it? Oh. Oh. Three fun. untold facts you didn't know about the Macca's drive through When they switch their microphones off, you know how they get there and they say, one moment, please? Yeah. They can hear you the whole time. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Oh, no way. So watch what you say. Number two. You know when you get to the drive through and there's multiple lanes and you're always nervous that someone's going to fucking cut in front of you and take yeah. the order? They actually, not only can they hear you, they can see you. So oh, they, yeah. take, they take mugshot photos of you. What, all so the when, time? All the time. So when you get to the drive through and you get there and you're arguing with the missus there so they can hear all that and then they, they get to the drive through, they actually take a photo of you so they know which order is yours. Oh. oh. So here's where, don't here's do where the... people are freaking out. Yeah. Everyone goes, what the fuck happens to those photos after we ordered our McFlurry and fucking cheeseburger? Hundred. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And number oh, three. Bank. You now, now, <laughs> now I'm just going through all the times I've gone through Macca's, which is probably four. And you're always, um, looking, hungover, <laughs> you're always looking awful too. When yeah. You're Macca's drive through. You're in sweats and you're fucking. Nick Minute. Hey. Um, hey. Uh, <laughs> Nat, from now on, you're going to be licking your lips every time we go through. <laughs> hey, can I get Cut a them. fucking caramel sundae? Hey, can I get can the freaking six pack of nuggets with a side of fucking can can chicken I, meal, please? Can, <laughs> I, can I just get a fucking lid of. Caramel sauce. <laughs> hey, spoon. I just came here for the hot cake syrup. <laughs> hey, can I just get eight straws? <laughs> hey, can, can I just you get can the soft also serve without, without <laughs> no soft serve? Just the cone? Hey, can yeah. I get fucking right. 20 napkins? <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a different show where we're just going to get Chico and Jordy doing this for about 30 minutes. It's incoming. And you can also order Chico for free an entire recipe book from McDonald's. Oh, what? At any time. If and you, you can make your own, 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 you own Big Mac on that? That's fucking got me. That's a game that's, changer. That's what's got me. So How if you round? get to the drive-thru and you say, hey, can I, I love have a large, large cheeseburger meal and also a recipe book? Boom. Wow. God. They've been keeping that on the fucking slide. That's that lemonade hmm. goodness too. Now you can save your money, yeah? And just <laughs> make the make the Big Mac at home. Now you, you know can make you a monkey some out, fucking cheeseburgers for lunch. Mm. chicken though. You know what's coming out that's going to be sick is a what? bunch of Maccas since this because it's got like over six million views now. A bunch of Maccas employees have put together the lost tapes of McDonald's. So what they're oh. going to do is they're going to release a bunch of stories that they overhear of whether it's people arguing or yeah. people planning fucking murders, like random shit they hear in the drive-through, and they're going to do like a bit of a tell-all coffee table you, book. Are going to be elite? Yeah, do you have any, it's all going to be anonymous. So you do you, do you remember any of your? Do you have any good? What's your? Yeah, I've got a good one. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got a good one. Go, Go. Start. I'll yeah. start. All right, um, this is. This is the Hall of Fame McDonald's <laughs> for me. This yeah. is what I remember. Yeah, so right. back when I was a, a young, young homeless young buck. <laughs> so me and the me and the boys like that I used to play footy with, like you load up the WRX and so the one one would that have two cars. I would have two cars. One would be at the back, mm. and we'd be at the front. And then the front, um, the, the the person in the front would, um, sorry, the person at the front would drive through. Mm -hmm. We'd go through the busiest time and then yep. the person at the back would load up on a big order. Yeah. And then because you didn't order at the front, they give you that order and then this car comes over and you're like, that's not my order. So, Well, you must uh, be going through them single lane McDonald's. Yeah. And the multiple yeah. lane ones, they yeah, take yeah. the photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just give you give you free McDonald's. This was, this was back in. And it worked every time? Every time. Every time. I was eating like a king. <laughs> the only I was simple. a king sleeping outside of my car. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating like a king, man. Fuck. The little McChicken, simple, simple little McChicken over a few tears. The only other simple, <laughs> simple hack I've got is whenever you add something, whether it's cheese, sauce, whatever, yeah. that has to be made fresh because they can't simply add to the one sitting in the warmer. Yeah, fair yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's yeah. the only hack. Yeah, so if you're fair. ordering straight off the menu, fuck you. That's kiddies. Yeah, that's What's fair. the go to order, chick? Macca's order. Say My go to order? Be honest, hungover too, ads, be honest. Hungover. Yeah, hungover ass, what are you getting? Hungry? Be honest too, mudders. Yeah. I will be honest, I will be honest. You've seen me. Don't give me. Don't look at me like that, eh? Make me hungry and whatnot. <laughs> no, um, my go-to order. Hit me. Of uh, McChicken meal, yep. medium, McChicken meal, uh, mini snack wrap, 
Six nuggets. All very chicken. Two mi- yeah, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Two mixed chicken, two mini snack wraps oh. and six nuggets. Mm. Yeah, nice. I don't, I don't, the thing is, I don't really, I don't really use the sauce. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my nuggets, nah, I eat really? it. Really? Yeah. I I just use them as a, a yeah. just use them on my dreads. <laughs> <laughs> I just lose them on the couch and hopefully I'll find them a week later. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a bit of 2K. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been to Beijing um, McDonald's? You no, I haven't. McChicken feet? <laughs> that you can, ha- oh. Yeah. Feet? Yeah, chicken, chicken feet. feet yeah. Oh, Mc, I love chicken, chicken feet. feet. Have you ever had chicken feet? Yeah, I've had them once. Yeah. And how was that? Did you like it? Yeah. You know me. Mm. All right, man. I'm going to roll off Macca's now. Sorry, sorry. Let's jump into a bit of footy slash boxing. Chico, Gal has started roasting Josh Aloyer. So the boys have come out I on love social it. media. I'll pull it up yep. now. So Josh has basically <laughs> said, this is from Josh Aloyer. Yep. Aloye. Uh, we were, or Oshe Ole, as he prefers to be re- uh, referred to. We were offered a contract to fight Gal six weeks ago, but now we're ready to sign. It appears Gal doesn't want it. Ducking and diving his heart out. Have you had enough at 40, old man, at Paul Gallen? Get the deal done so that we can dance, young fella. I'm ready to go. Oh. Gal then and then res- what did Gal say? Gal then responds <laughs> <laughs> with laughing faces. Do you promise Tommy Turbo can't fight for you at Joshua LOA? And I'll let you tell everyone why I haven't signed yet. Cheeky monkey face. <laughs> There's a bit in that. Oh. Uh, with Ga- Does Gal the thing, LOA? I'm the fighting thing, I love, Gal. I love, they always have. Is it always? Is it me or every time some boxing, they always have. Always you didn't something. sign. I didn't sign. Whatever yeah. you didn't yeah, sign. Just to do everything, just everything up. Do yeah. everything up. But um, they probably had dinner while they're posting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you What do you make of that fight? Do you guys mind if I just have a BSC protein? Please. Bar? Oh, please. Just have a little snack. Please. Um. I might um, join you, mutters. Mm. What do I think of that fight? Um, I reckon it'd be a good, good fight. Um, he can throw him out. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can. Yeah. Wasn't he? He's had a fight before. You can jump on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, Luke, you were just saying you can actually have a look at his highlights. Yeah, he's cracked. Um, I'm tossed. Gal. Too good. It's too 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 good. Go reckon? take him out deep waters like he always does. He's someone, L.A. Mm. What do you reckon? Your brotherhood or are you going gal? I'm going brotherhood, man. Yeah. Yeah. Good on you. Good on you. Good on you. Nah, fuck gal. Come on. I like. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I know Galen. I want him to win, obviously. Bro. They're both great guys, man. They're both good, good, great guys. Good families. Mm. Oh, you? Of course, mm. you were. Um, yeah, I was with Cronulla with Gal. Um, <sighs> he's just a freak of um, like a mentally strong human. Like crazy strong, like he's just. just oh, wow. there's one thing you took from him. What would it have been? His hit ups. <laughs> Apart from his shorts. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, is that a serious question or not? Yeah, actual, actual. Um, mentally. Mental. Just yeah, just mentally how he like prepares resilient. himself. All oh, right, yeah. Just yeah, prepares himself every day. He used to like he used to train before we trained. Like properly boxing, trained. yeah, train properly trained. Like he'll do like boxing or whatever, train, and then come and do our training. You always hear guys like Kobe that used to do that. Like they didn't want to start training like until they'd got a sweat on. Yeah, like, yeah. but like he and then came and done our training. Our training yeah. was like ruthless. Well, well, our training was tough. Like mm. it was, but it was in season. But he, he used to just sometimes train, do boxing or whatever, and, and then come do our training and then do the weights mm. and then go back and box. like do box. Yeah, you know what I mean. And he he'd like start whatever time five or whatever and. And then sometimes I'll see him up at um, Body Fit. There's gym. not like this. So there's like a lot of footy players get into boxing mm. post career, during career, whatever, because they're athletic guys. They enjoy the sport. Yeah. They can throw them. Gal's like a boxer. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's not, <coughs> pardon me, he's not a footy player anymore. He's nah. a, he used to be a footy player. Now he's a legit boxer. 100%. Boxer, yeah. And like for him to make that transition Mental into that, like, it's oh. 40. <laughs> I know. Old, I know. But that's what I'm saying. Like, obviously, what comes out after all of this, what check. is the new 21? Tom Brady's saying that. Um, yeah. Of course, every time Gal's fight gets tossed up, the whole Sonny Bill thing gets tossed up. Yeah. Gal then oh. says, apparently, Sonny Bill, this is the, from this morning, he says, Sonny Bill was offered a multi million dollar contract yeah. to fight him and still turned it down. I think that's true. Yeah. I think that's true. So, like, Sonny's sitting pretty now. He's got that job at um, Stan, Stan, is it? Or, yeah. yeah. And he's sweet. And then he's, you know, yeah. he's, he's great at it. He's really good at it. And yeah. that's probably what he wants to do um, career wise. So, why, why, go, why jump into a ring and get bashed up when it, like, you obviously. Reckon he, you, reckon he, you reckon Gal would flog him? Oh, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Well, I love Sunny, obviously. Hundred percent too. But Gal, I, I, Gal's like, I love Sunny too. They're more impressive, but boxer, like in terms of what we've seen, he's just got the motor of doing. Yeah, he's, 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 he's body shots. Yeah. Like you said, like you said before, Gal's a boxer. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sunny, like Sunny's had fights, but Sunny can box. But can box, box, but like yeah. no disrespect to Sunny, whatever. Beauty. But oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> but Gal's Gal's actually a boxer. Yeah, and personally, like personally, I can. What I've what I've heard and seen, and also 
you know, um, in cl- behind closed door- doors of, of what's, how he trains and shit. How yeah. or what of what um, Sonny wasn't like inspiring. Yeah, from from close mates, Gal will beat him. Yeah, you know, what I, mean? I tend to agree. What do you reckon, man? Gal, yeah, Gal's, Gal's just got the engine of doing this. What do you reckon happens, Jordan Simi versus Gal? Like four or five rounds. <laughs> <laughs> you you give yourself five? I, I'll gas out, but I. Honestly, just my, my footwork, I'll stay away from him for about three, four. Shut up. And then he'll clip me with one or two. And mm. I can actually box, so that's the thing. You actually can. Yeah. Can but when run. we box, so you're annoying. doing the. Uh, he you, gets know? The, uh, you know what's annoying? He gets the old. Um, the shoulder roll. The old no, Philly shoulder <laughs> Yeah, but then you're like, you go to like his, to square him up, but then you'll. What's it called when you just turn it? And he's like, yeah. Fuck. The annoying thing about Simi, like, and everything, bro, is like he's all finesse, even though he's a giant Samoan guy. Yeah. Like he gets on the bo- he gets on the basketball court instead of backing down and fucking yamming it, he's looking like these little step back threes <laughs> and shit. And he gets into boxing instead of just flogging, he's like acting all pretty and shit, mm. like on his toes. Yeah. Oh, and it pisses bro- me I had off. A broken leg, you know what I mean? I couldn't even jump around pretty <laughs> that one, and I was still throwing him. <laughs> no, but my favorite is like when we, when you just use the body weight and then the, the gloves slip off the shoulders and you just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yep, and before we leave, um, <laughs> Young <laughs> Thug, <laughs> Rich Young Alvin, Thug, um, Thug. I had it on at the gym yesterday. Yeah, didn't blow my hair back, but it was pretty good. Yeah, like, in terms of features, it's very just what do you? It's very Young Thug. Is, is it like I, I haven't heard his previous albums like too much? The young Thug good. to I me personally, that. he's a great like he's a great feature. Agreed. Like he's yeah, actually a great feature, and, that's, and a lot of that down here. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of the the features on here Mad. actually make the, a gun. Yeah. And personally, I, I was just driving here and listening to the whole album. Yeah. I got down to like on full what? four left on um, Bluetooth. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, so, and and a lot of it was more of a cruising song. Like, if I wouldn't play it at the gym, yeah. I'd do it more of like a, if I'm cruising, driving to work or well, driving to I cruise to when I'm walk. in the gym. Yeah. Check, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm I know. Stretching. Yeah. Oh. Or if I'm going for a nice little walk, whatever. But it's, a lot of it's just like Bob. head bobbing. Yeah. A lot of bobbing. Um, my favorite from it. So yeah, hit me. My favorite from it is. Is the Drake and obviously Travis Scott that that yeah. song called Bubbly? Um, I don't. Oh, whenever Travis Scott comes in, oh, song, like, in any feature yeah. is so free. <laughs> he just makes a song. Yeah, but um, per, another one is um, Rich and 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 shit. Yeah, with um, Juice Juice World. Yeah. I'm not that's, a massive fan of Juice World. That's what I'd you like, try, yeah. and he mm, actually went sad, off sad. like like yeah. compared to other Juice World songs where he's just sort of singing, not rapping. Yeah, this one he just actually goes in. I'm like, man, oh, yeah, that's all right. I, I had on to the gym like there was nothing that blew my hair back, but I was like, hey, this is sweet. It's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, young, that, young thug is young thug, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah but you got you 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 wouldn't understand the story behind the lyrics because you you've been spoon fed your whole life. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> what so you take really out of the album? It really connected to you. What well, I took out of the album is um, <laughs> sometimes life will get you down, man. Mm-hmm. You, can, you just got to come back stronger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Thank you for that. Thanks, man. Uh, that is Around the Water Cooler. <laughs> Chico and Simi got a new little uh, IGTV piece coming in for you, so stay tuned for that too. October, oh. what do we say? 21st, Thursday. So yeah. get around the boys, support it, supply and demand, baby. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>